Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Destinations. I am your host Avinash and today I am going to show you that how you can enable AWS System Manager that is also called AWS SSM. There are several key benefits of enabling SSM. Likewise, you can centrally manage and configure your EC2 instance. You can automate the tasks such as software installations, patch management and configuration changes across your EC2 instance. You can securely access EC2 instance. That means you do not need to open any inbound port or manage SSH keys. And you can scale the command. It means you can run commands on multiple EC2 instance simultaneously. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you that how you can enable the SSM. And in order to do that, firstly, we need to create one role. And for that, you need to come into IAM services. And after that, you need to select the roles. Then you need to say create roles here. And here you need to select uh, EC2 and then there are a lot of options. You need to select this one EC2 role for AWS system manager. After that, you need to make sure that this policy should be assigned or attached to this uh, role Amazon SSM manage instance core. Do next. Give it name. I'm giving it SSM hyphen role hyphen EC2. Okay, uh, then create this role. And once it is created, then after that, we need to attach this role to EC2 instance. For that, we want to enable the SSM. Now I'm going to do Perfect. that. So now you can search your created role. So this is the role which I have created just now. And you can see the policy that is attached to it. Okay, this one. Now I'm going to spin up one EC2 instance. And for that, I'm going to enable the SSM, right? So we need to create one EC2 instance first. So I'm going in EC2 instance services here. So I'm going to spin up one EC2 instance. So I go here instance, launch instance. And then I'm selecting OK Ubuntu operating system and T2. I am selecting instance type T2 only because this is just for testing purpose. And then key, I have already one keys generated here. Then allow SSH traffic, OK. Then I'm going to keep it a default 8 GB. Uh, then in advanced details here, then you need to come under the user data sections here. And you need to mention these this script okay so you don't worry about it i'm going to paste it under the description sections you can take it from there okay so you need to manage you need to keep this script under this user data section so basically it is going to install python 3 and then it is taking the package of ssm from this locations okay and then it is starting the ssm agent okay then user data okay yeah, that's all. And I'm going to spin up this EC2 instance under the default VPC. Okay. I say launch instance. So now instance is getting launched. And once it is up, I will be back. Okay, guys. So now you can check the status. The instance is up and running. Okay. Uh, then we need to attach the role which we have created. Uh, if you remember the SSM role. Go to modify IAM role, select the role here, SSM role EC2, update IAM role, and the user data which we have already uh, pasted, the user data, the script we have already pasted there, right? So you can check that one also. Uh, we need to go to user data sections. So we need to select this, sorry. Uh, then go to modify node networking, instance state, yeah, edit user data and you can make sure that the script is there so this is the script which we have given as a user data right uh and then we have just assigned the role so we need to restart this instance once again because right now if we try to access it we cannot access it let me show you if we go in session manager right this instance is not visible okay so we need to restart this instance so it can take the effect of the role and then it will uh install all the required uh installations software installations so we need to restart it we go here instance state reboot instance reboot wait for some time and once it is up right then we try again 
okay so we have successfully restarted the instance so all we need to go all we need to select the instance uh, click here on connect then session manager now you can see it is visible right so we can access now say connect and now through the session manager that is ssm we can access this ec2 instance so now you can see that we do not need to uh, open any inbound port and we can directly access this ec2 instance from the aws console itself let me access and show you okay so now we got this and we switch to sudo mode okay perfect so now we can access this ec2 instance okay so this is what i wanted to show you this is the way that you can enable the aws ssm okay all right guys so that's all from this sessions and if you really like this video then don't forget to share and subscribe my channel i will see you in my next tutorial thank you so much for watching this